class I let you taught me to take. You can sleep over that. We haven't even been there yet. I just have this feeling I'm not going to like it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Edward Derrick. And this term, I have the pleasure of guiding you through the psychology of fear. From what I understand, this has been a popular course in the past. So I'll tell you, I was going to reach into this case, pull out a gun, put it to someone's head and blow their brains out. That's something to be afraid of. Yeah, right. Maybe we better just try and see! Ow! Oh! What the rest of you? that Allison knew was gonna happen. No, I didn't. Well, you knew something was gonna happen. Hey, Russ! I hear that guy Derek really pissed you off. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, me? I... Mr. Dean of the faculty didn't think it was quite so funny. There are those who uh, disapprove of my teaching methods and have asked me to make some changes to prevent me from holding private seminars at my home. We'll probably be pouring by the time we come back. If we come back. This isn't fun. Come on, Allison, would you lighten up? Is anybody planning on ringing the bell? Hey, did okay? You must not be home. We're going to tell each other stories. Stories? What? Like... These will be true stories. They're the kind that can really scare us. I've heard about some pretty bizarre stuff, but... It could have happened. Yes. <laughs> happened to you. something really special for your birthday. <laughs> I'm thinking it might be fun to drive home the long way. With the old coast road? On up at the old Griffith house. It looks like somebody finally bought the old place. Nobody's living there. They're both flat. If somebody's living up there, we could call for a tow truck. You want to go up there? Well, it's better than sitting here and freezing. Everyone says about it. Five people did get murdered there. Just an old story. in a mental hospital fighting for his sanity. Sure, what they found. I really feel we can 
get in. <laughs> Are you sure they're not gonna cart us? Amy, don't worry about it, they won't. really happened? Sure did. My sister told me about it. Ready for it. Story. It scares me just to think about it. Hi, Ray. Alex! Welcome home! Thank you. A whole lot better. Yeah, I know. I mean, you read about it. they skew each other with their skis. Oh, I guess I was lucky. Yeah. We're late. I know. Don't ask to either lay off most of the staff or go under. You're kidding. <sighs> I wish I was. What? Because you are the night shift and I am the day shift. You mean I have to work here all alone? So. Yeah. Bridge residence. Supposed to pick up before the third ring. Sure. Sometimes things get a little busy here. I just came on duty. Now Miss Birch is calling. Don't you know? Is this gonna be like 20 questions or something, or were you gonna give me a name I can write down? Asshole. Me? All I want to do is take your message, sir. Call 
Tell her, please. Let her know I've been waiting to see her. Tell her. There's one guy who's called you about a dozen times tonight. Oh, God, no. Is something wrong? You talk to him? And you have to ask me if there's something wrong. He did seem pretty strange. He's phoned me at the studio for weeks, but this is the first time he's called me here. I got my home phone number. Uh, Miss Birch, hi. This is Alex from All Night. Um... I probably shouldn't be bothering him like this, but he knows that you're there. It's too late for warnings, Alex. It's too late for her. And it's too late for you. Can you just stick around till then? I, I don't know. He's really got me scared, Molly. Can you just get here as fast as you can? I'm halfway there already. Jesus, Ray, where were you? Well, time to explain. Just call the cops and tell them to get here soon. When Molly shows up, she got here five minutes ago, and she up to that when I talked to you before. Didn't say anything about Molly. Just came down there right now. scared Tara let you talk me to take it how can you lose sleep over that we have to like it hey don't be 